Hey guys, it's Ami Amor. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this fire flower. If you make it in blue, it becomes an ice flower. I also have one in pink. You can make it only with the leaves and stem, or you can also make it so it becomes a potted plant. I've also made it as a cute flower headband. I'll show how to crochet these flowers that we put back to back and sew together. And we'll also make the stem and leaves and the pot base that fits into our clay pots. And then we can sew it all together. And here are some of my other Mario YouTube tutorials on my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. You'll need a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, worsted weight acrylic yarn in white and yellow, orange, green, and a very small amount in black for the eyes. A 2.5 inch clay pot, scissors, polyfill stuffing, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker, and I like to use a bobby pin. With white yarn, we're going to make a slip knot. You're going to wrap the yarn around your fingers, and with your crochet hook, go under the yarn, and then go ahead and pull on through to make a slip knot. Now for our fire flower, we are going to grab the yarn and for round one, it is chain two. That's one and two. And then we're going to do six single crochet into the first chain. So here is one single crochet stitch. And then this is our second single crochet stitch and three four five and six and then you're going to close the circle and you're going to use a stitch marker. I like to use a bobby pin to mark the end of your round. We're ready to do round two. We're going to ignore that first part here and we're going to do two in each stitch all the way around and you will have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So here in our first stitch, we are going to have one single crochet and into the same stitch. Here is our second crochet stitch and then one and two into the same stitch, one and two. Next stitch we're going to do two again. So that is one and two, one and two and into our very last stitch we are going to do one and two single crochet stitches and if we count it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then we're going to put our stitch marker back round three our pattern is two one two one Repeat all the way around and you will have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. So in our first stitch, that's going to be one and two. Next stitch is just one. Repeat the pattern again. So it's going to be two right here, which is one and two and then one. And we are going to continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. And at the end, you should have 18 single crochet stitches. Round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one, and repeat 
the pattern around and you will have 24 single crochet stitches. That is one and two and one and one. Repeat the pattern again, it's two, one, one. So that is one and two and one and one. We are going to continue to repeat the pattern all the way around, but when we get to the very last stitch, we are going to change colors. And here's our very last set. So that's one and two and one. And here's our very last stitch, and we're going to change colors. We're going to grab our yellow yarn and make a slip knot to prepare it. And then we are going to go back to our very last stitch. And then we are going to do a single crochet stitch and yarn over and come out. But now we are going to grab our slip knot for our yellow yarn and then pull it through our two loops to finish off the single crochet stitch. And then we are going to put in our stitch marker. Now for round five with the yellow yarn, we are going to slip stitch all the way around and we will have 24 slip stitches at the end. So here is our slip stitch. You're gonna go through both loops and continue to do a slip stitch all the way around. And then when we get to the very end, we are going to do our slip stitch. And then we are also going to do uh, one more slip stitch to join to our next stitch. And this is how it looks like so far. Now for round 6a, we are going to work in the back loop only. So that's the back loop. And you're going to go through one single loop. And then, so our pattern is going to be, we're going to do a single crochet and half double crochet into that back loop. So here's single crochet and to do half double yarn over, insert hook into the same stitch, yarn over, come out through all three loops. Now in our next two stitches, we are going to do two half double crochet in each. So here is, one half double crochet stitch and into the same one. Here is our second half double crochet stitch. Then we're going to do two half double crochet stitches again. So here is one half double crochet into the same stitch, two, our second half double crochet stitch. Then we're going to do a slip stitch. And then if we look, here is our first petal completed. And then we're going to repeat the pattern again and then go all the way around. So we'll have six petals at the end. So let's do it again. It's going to be single crochet in our next back loop and then half double crochet into the same stitch. And there's going to be two and two in there, two half double crochet stitches. So that's one half double. Here is two half double. Next one is also two half double. So here is one half double and two half double into the same stitch and then slip stitch into our next stitch. And then we have completed our second petal. So you're going to go ahead and repeat that same pattern all the way around and at the end you should have six petals. So here's how it looks like with six petals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now for round 6b, we are going to go through both the loops of the white yarn. So our pattern is going to be two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. Repeat all the way around and you will have 30 single crochet stitches at the end. So that is one and two single crochet and then one, one, one. Repeat again. That's two, one, one, one. 
that is 1 and 2 and 1, 1, 1. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. At the end of round 6B, we're ready to do another color change to orange yarn. So we are going to do a slip knot to the orange yarn so we'll, we can prep it. And then we are going to do a single crochet into our next stitch. And then you are going to grab your orange yarn and pull it through both loops of the yellow yarn to finish our, out our single crochet stitch. Put in our stitch marker. Now for round 7, we're going to stay at 30 single crochet stitch. So it's just one stitch in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 8, we are going to do a slip stitch all the way around. So we will have 30 slip stitches. So we're going to go through both loops and do a slip stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round 9, we're going to work in the back loop only. So that's only through the back loop, which is this one right here. And we are going to do a half double crochet stitch and then a double crochet stitch into the same stitch. So yarn over, come out, come out through both loops, yarn over, come out through two loops again. And then it's two double crochet stitch in our next three stitches. So here is our first double crochet stitch. And into the same stitch, we're going to do our second double crochet stitch. And then we're going to also do two double crochet stitch in our next stitch. So that is one double crochet stitch. And then here is our second double crochet stitch. We're going to do two double crochet stitch here again. So that is one double crochet stitch and into the same stitch. Here is our second double crochet stitch. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in our next stitch. And then if we look, here is our first orange petal completed. So let's repeat the pattern again. In our next stitch, it's going to be a half double and double crochet stitch. So into our back loop, that's a half double. Into the same stitch, here is our double crochet stitch. And in our next three stitches, we are going to do two double crochet in each one. So we are doing one double crochet into the same stitch. Here is two double crochet stitch. In our next stitch is also two double crochet. So that is one double crochet and then two double crochet. And our next stitch is also two. So that is one double crochet and then two double crochet and then slip stitch in our next stitch. And here is our second petal completed. And you want to repeat the pattern all the way around until you have six petals at the end. And here we are at the very end of our six petals. So we're going to do the slip stitch. And then here is how it looks like. If we count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six petals. And this is the back, how it looks like, and the front. So we can go ahead and cut a tail and fasten off. So now we have completed flower part A. You'll want to go back and repeat rounds 1 through 6A to complete flower part B. And for part B, when you get to the end of round 6A, you're going to do a slip stitch 
to join to the next stitch and then cut off a long tail and fasten off and make sure you cut off all your tails so here are your flower A and flower B completed so if you haven't done it yet go back to finish flower part B For the stem with green yarn for round one, we are going to chain two, so that's one and two, and then six single crochets into the first chain, so that's one and two, three, four, five, and six, and close the loop. Then you're going to use your stitch marker to mark the end of the round. For rounds 2 and 7, we are going to do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So we are going to stay at 6 single crochet stitches and go ahead and repeat until you get to the end of round 7. And here is how it looks like after round 7. You'll want to cut off the long tail and fasten off. And here's your stem completed. For the leaf with green yarn, you are going to, for round 1, chain 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the previous chain, then single crochet stitch, and then half double crochet in our next two. So here is a half double crochet stitch, and into our next stitch, a half double crochet stitch, and then next stitch is a single crochet stitch, and then a slip stitch. And then we are going to go ahead and turn to the other side of the chain. And then we are going to do a slip stitch in the next chain. And single crochet stitch. And then half double crochet in our next two. So here is one half double crochet in our next stitch. Here is one half double crochet. And then slip stitch, slip stitch. So that is a slip stitch and a slip stitch in our very last stitch there. And we're not going to fasten off, but we are going to repeat round one again. So chain seven, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then into our previous chain, we're going to do a slip stitch and then single crochet, and then half double in our next two stitches. So here is a half double crochet, next stitch, half double crochet, next stitch is a single crochet stitch, and then a slip stitch. And then we're going to turn it around and go back the other direction. We're going to do a slip stitch into this chain right here and then a single crochet stitch then half double crochet in our next two stitches so that is one half double crochet and then one half double and then a slip stitch and a slip stitch and then here's how it looks like so we are going to fold 
the leaves back to back and then we are going to join with a single crochet border all the way around so we sew the leaf closed so we're going to go through both layers of the leaf so we're going to go through both and then do a single crochet stitch and then continue to do single crochet border all the way around so go ahead and work up your stitches I like to put the tail end inside so that it doesn't show so we are just going to go ahead and do single crochet stitch all the way around so that the leaves become one leaf that is more thicker and durable and when we get to the end we're going to do a slip stitch to our next stitch and then cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is our leaf completed and this is the back and front and you'll want to make two leaves in total now for the pot base with green yarn you are also going to chain two so that's one and two and then six single crochet into the first chain so that's one two three four five and six and then you're going to close your loop and use a stitch marker to mark the end of your round and we're going to ignore that and then do two in each stitch all the way around so in our very first stitch that is going to be one and two and then one and two and continue to repeat around for round three our pattern is two one 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 two one 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 two one 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 and you'll have 15 single crochet stitches at the end so that's one and two into the same stitch and one one and one repeat again it's, it's going to be one and two and one 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 and our last set's going to be also one and two and one one and one and now we should have 15 single crochet stitches for round four we're going to work in the back loop only so we're going to go through the single loop and we're going to stay at 15 so it's just going to be one in each stitch all the way around but we're just going through the back loop only so go ahead and work up your stitches so now if we look at the end of the round we see a ridge has formed for our pot base now for round five our pattern is two and in the next four just one and repeat all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches so that's one and two into the same stitch and one two three four repeat the pattern again it's two and in our next four just one so that's one and two and one two three and four and repeat the pattern again round six our pattern is two and in the next stage just one repeat around and you'll have 20 single crochet stitches so that is one and two into the same stitch and then one two three four five six seven eight repeat the pattern again it's two here that's one and two and then the rest of the eight stitches it's just one in each stitch all the way around round seven we are going to 
stay at 20 single crochet stitches so it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around for round eight our pattern is two and in the next nine just one repeat the pattern around you'll have 22 single crochet stitches that is one and two into the same stitch and one two three four five six seven eight and nine repeat the pattern again that's two and then the rest of the nine stitches just one so that's one and two and continue to do single crochet for the rest of the stitches round nine our pattern is two and in the next ten just one and repeat around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches so that's one and two and it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten repeat the pattern again it's two here so that's one and two and then the rest of the stitches just one in each stitch around round 10 we are going to work in the back loop only and our pattern is going to be a decrease and then one one decrease one one repeat all the way around and you will have 18 single crochet stitches so here is our decrease in the back loop only and then in the back loop that's one single crochet and one single crochet repeat again we're going to do a decrease in the back loop only so here's our decrease and then single crochet and then single crochet and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and here's how the project looks like so far Round 11, our pattern is a decrease single crochet and repeat all the way around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So here is our decrease and then a single crochet. Decrease and a single crochet and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. Round 12, we are just going to decrease four times only. So here is one decrease and here is our second decrease, three and then four and then we are going to cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is our pot base completed.